Okay, so um, I added a tool in 4.6 beta 3, which I'm calling revalue. Um, it's it's at it's the the tool is basically at its infancy, but um, I think it's it's going to be hugely um, valuable tools. It helps me tremendously on every day, uh, keeping my um, Revit model consistent and helps me renaming and, and adjusting values of stuff. Um, I'm sure there are pretty comparable tools out there that you can buy for add-ons and stuff like that. I just needed one, so I created one for myself. <clears throat> So let's say I have a bunch of field regions in my, in my model that I want to rename. Um, like, for example, you have imported all these um, uh, field regions from another model, or somebody has done this, and you want to make sure that the naming isn't consistent. So I'm going to actually select a bunch of them with different formats. Let's say some, some of these, um, and then some of that, and some of the models. And I'm going to, uh, so whatever, whenever you have a selection, it's, this tool activates. And I'm going to click on it, and it goes and lists all these elements that you have selected with the parameter name, basically pulling the parameter value from the parameter that I've picked. This is a list of all the string parameters, the parameters that have a value that's in a string, um, like a text. Um, it's not an element ID, it's not a uh, numerical value and stuff like that. This is just the um, sort of like the first draft of the tool. I'll add uh, more features to it going forward. Um, but basically right now I can select the name of each of these elements that I've selected uh, and the names would be listed there. Now, I want to rename these um, elements and make them consistent. For example, let's say my company is called, um, I don't know, um, I don't know, EIN, let's say, right? Let's say that's the name of the com company. So I want to rename all this to say EIN in front of them. Um, the first thing that I want to do is to describe the format to the, um, to the, the tool, basically. So I'm just going to click on one of these, grabbing the, the values. And I'm going to say um, the format is that it says hash, space, miscellaneous, and then the rest of it is name. So I'm defining a sort of like a variable, not a variable, it's, it's uh, let's say it's a, a value grabber. Um, so it grabs everything out after this underscore that's in the model, that's in the name, and uh, assigns it to the variable name. Um, so if I type name here, this is gonna be the new format. So if I kind of take name, you'll see that all of these that match that pattern that you provided will grab the rest of it as name and I'll show the new value in there because that's the new value that I provided. So if I want to name, like add EIN in front of them, I can just do EIN and then like that, that. And basically I can describe the new format using the grabbed values um, that I added, added there. Um, let's say you wanted to say like this, basically. So you see all of these are renamed to that. And then there are a couple of ones that don't follow that format. So I've selected a bunch of stuff that are different formats. So I'm going to just click on new value and I'm going to sort them based on that new value. And I'm going to select all these. And I'm going to say marked selected as final. So this conversion is done. And then the rest of these stuff, they have a different format. So I'm going to say some of them have model in front of it. And you can see that um, I grabbed these as well. Um, so these ones, I'm going to mark this as final as well, because they all have the same values. And then for the detail ones, they have detail in front of them. So it's there, and I'm going to mark these. You don't really have to mark them as final, because that's the last change. And then I can say apply new values. And you see that all the uh, patterns, where did it go? Here. Um, all the patterns that we selected now have um, been renamed to a, a new, you know, a new way of new way of naming. You can do this with sheets. You can do this with any sort of element that you have selected in Revit model. Um, there's a tool that I've added here. Obviously, this is this is at its infancy. So you know, make sure that you know what you're doing before you're you know you screw up your models. Um, uh, go under select, and I've added a temporary tool in here. It's called select element types. So let's say there are some element types, like for example, the fill the fill patterns. Um, Let's say if I, if I can open my fill patterns window. Let's say I have all these fill patterns defined, but there's no way you can select these and run that tool. So this would help you, and they're not listed in the project browser. So this tool helps you select all the element types um, in a different way that are easier to use. So like fill patterns, I can select them here. Um, it selects all the fill patterns that I have. I can go to revalue and I can see all these fill patterns listed there. And then I can rename them by name. So this, you know whatever we did um, to the other ones, just like that, you can rename them here as well. Or you want to maybe select, I don't know, um, different family types that you have in here and rename them, or sheets, or views, or anything that you have selected. Um, you can basically, uh, or like for example, in this example, I'm just going to grab some, some elements in here and run this. 
it basically pulls the name of those elements, or I can say it pulls the family names of those elements. They don't have a family name or the comment value or the mark value, anything that you basically want to batch modify to make sure that you know they have the same format and stuff like that, you can start using this tool for. I'll add more features to it and let me know if you have you know better ideas on how to improve it and stuff like that. Um, it's a, I think it's, I don't know, I use it every day and it's a super valuable tool in creating templates and making sure the models are consistent.